right, ladies and gentlemen, welcome back to another episode of Rocket Vlogs. Um, the, these tubes are as good as they're going to get. Uh, for my standards, not very good, um, but it's fine. I would have had a lot less of a difficult time with the textures if I had just mylar wrapped the tubes, but I didn't have time to wait for the tubes to get delivered. I didn't have time to wait for a roll of Mylar to get delivered. I needed these done as soon as possible. So if you see this rocket up close in person, I apologize for the textures. You can probably see it pretty okay on the camera. Um, originally my plan was after to fiberglass it to spray it with like automotive body filler and get it all smoothed out. But I don't have a place to spray with an HVLP gun right now. So this is, uh, I believe, two coats of rattle can filler primer and then three or four coats of regular two times rust-oleum primer and then uh, like three or four coats of gloss white with 600 grit wet sanding in between from 10 feet or more away it'll look fine so what we need to do now is uh i need to paint this nose cone now this is really fun for me actually to do scale paint job like this um i did the math off the real iris i need the upper 45 inches of the rocket to be painted silver and we run into a little bit of an issue there with the nose cone not being 45 inches long right and that was the same case with uh, my glass iris if you ever noticed on that rocket the upper a little bit of the upper tube was painted silver as well i did that to give it as close to a scale look as possible but first uh, what i'm going to do is we're going to sand down all the seams on this again this is a public missiles nose cone but lock precision now owns public missiles and dave and jay said that they're planning on shipping seven and a half inch iris kits when they do start shipping them with the lock or the public missiles composite nose cone which is really cool um generally i believe they're fiberglass but this one is carbon fiber so it's really really light uh, you know, you just couldn't put a tracker in it, but um, it's a big enough rocket that I don't think I don't think a tracker is really going to be all that necessary. I do put a tracker in every flight anyway, but uh, just a basic tracking like I do where you tape it to a shot cord, this is going to be no problem. If you wanted to put GPS or something in the big fi carbon fiber nose cone, you'd run into issues because they're not RF transparent, so you wouldn't even uh, have a signal. At any rate, I'm going to sand that real quick, and we might put our first set of fillets on the fin can back there. I do have some work that I need to rush back home to, but uh, for now, I'm going to just get this nose cone ready to go, and then we'll go from there. All right, since every table has been completely taken over over here, I'll just explain to you guys how I'm going to do this, and then do it and show you what it looks like when I'm done. I like to use pieces of paper as a straight edge and obviously I have to put a few together for this big of a tube but uh, the nose cone is somewhere between 29 and 30 inches long so we need to do 15 inches onto the upper tube color match to the nose cone.
Yeah. There you go. It only weighs 23 pounds as it's sitting, which, yeah, like my dad was just saying, is I think it was 28 for just the fin can for the all fiberglass one. So this whole rocket weighs less than just the fin can of the last iris. There's no recovery gear in it. There's couplers. Still have the stiffy couplers to put in. It'll probably be around 30 pounds. Which means a real, real spicy K could probably lift it up. But I don't, I don't know that I'd put anything less than an L in there. But maybe 75 millimeter Ks. Like a, so the K1000 would probably be fine. That's basically an L. L1000 would be cool. Maybe the K850, the dark matter one. Spoiler alert, it flew on a K850 at Tripoli Vegas' Oktoberfest. In that video and the full ad-free Oktoberfest videos available right now on Patreon. The link is in the description. But yeah, I mean, if we put a 4 grain M in this, it would probably go about as high as my last one did with the 6 grain 98N. Which was barely an N, but still. It was an N. Pretty crazy. If you put an N in this, it'd probably go... I don't know. Those fins are still pretty draggy, especially not being tapered, but... Probably 12,000-ish. Maybe someday down the road. Cool Those things are really expensive. Yeah. I think an N2000 would be really cool. Just a giant white flame. But yeah. There you go. There's yet another iris. 